Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to take a look at 10 100% free movies and television shows that are available on Roku players and Roku televisions. Now these are 100% free with ads. There are though so many Roku channels that offer free content I could never list them here. But I've been getting a lot of questions from Roku owners that say, hey, I just picked up a Roku for Black Friday or Cyber Monday. What can I watch 100% free with it? And that's what I want to address. Now, the great thing about free Roku channels is there's no cost, so why not add them all? But if you have one that is your favorite that I don't cover here, leave us a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And maybe you'll help somebody else who has a Roku learn about something they didn't know about. Now, this is great um, and uh, options for all core cutters and all Roku owners, but I am going to target this a lot to new Roku owners. So if you're an experienced Roku owner, you may know of some of these, but hopefully I'll still show you something you didn't know about. First, before we get started, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. And hopefully I can help you break free from the high cost of cable TV, still watch what you enjoy, or maybe Learn something new about your Roku you didn't know about before. Well, let's start off with the Roku channel. Now, if you're going to look at free movies and television shows on Roku, the Roku channel is probably one of the best places to start. It's owned by Roku. It's been around for over a year now and includes a huge collection of movies and television shows um, from a growing list of partners. Now, it does allow you to also watch live television from a growing list of sources like The Weather Nation, uh, some 24 7 ones like Wipeout Extra, This Old House, Fubo Sports, USA Today, and more. Just a huge collection of different movies and television shows here with this. But you also get um, on demand content. There's even a kids section here where I can go in here and look at just age appropriate content for my kids. And I can even set parental controls in here and go through there. So I can say, hey, I can pick one of these age groups or I can just scroll through it and look at all the different content that's available here with ads. Um, then you can also go into it and look at the, the, all the content with movies to, regardless of the rating. And it's a huge collection of TV shows and movies. So really nice to see Roku um, improving the quality of content here and offering more and more of it, including older um, episodes of The Outer Limits, Who's the Boss, and more. So check this out, the Roku channel, 100% free. You do need to add it to your Roku though. Next up is Stir. Now this is a 100% free channel. The real selling point of Stir is the fact that not only does it give you local news, gives you on-demand movies and television shows, but it also gives you live channels, including ones like Comet, which is a great sci-fi channel, Charge, Buzzer TV, 24-7 gaming or game show channel, and more in here so that you can watch all the content you want for free. I love this. I moved to an area where Comet was no longer available over the air. Now with Stir, I can watch it 100% for free, along with a ton of other content like the Long Crime Channel, Cheddar News, American Classics, and more. There's even a Whose Line Is Anyway channel where you watch 24 7 access of it plus a ton of on-demand content here. So you can go in here, I can select uh, movies, for example, and take a look at all the movies and television shows that it has to offer with ads. So it's a pretty cool feature here of content with it, and it's ever-changing. Like many of these services, what's here now will be different maybe by the time you come back around. So just because you may see a movie or television show on this, please remember that it may be different by the time you actually get it. All right, next up is Pluto TV. This one is probably the most popular channel when I ask people, hey, what's the best free streaming um, service out there? Pluto TV is one of the options that I get a lot of with it. Now, it used to be independent. Now it is owned by Viacom, but it's not just Viacom content. For instance, you have Fox Sports, CNN content, BBC content, Discovery content, and more streaming here. The real selling point is they really focus on the live channels where you find things like a 24 seven bond channel, movies, television shows, geek culture, anime, and more, but they do have an on demand section here. Now it is free. You do have the ability to create an account, but it's not required. And right here on demand access to movies and television shows, popular um, content, both new and old, 
uh, Fox content like uh, Hell's Kitchens, Kitchen Nightmares, Roseanne, and more from different networks, not just Fox, are all here. So check out Ice Road Chuckers from Discovery and more. So Pluto TV is probably one of the best known. And one of the cool things about it is if you have a Roku TV, like I'm demonstrating it here, if you connect an antenna to it, it will actually put your antenna channels right into the guide on Pluto TV. A really cool feature. Of course, if you have a Roku player, that's not an option because you can't connect an antenna to a Roku player, but you can um, still watch all the streaming channels through Pluto TV for free with it. Next up is Tubi ETV. Tubi was one of the original free ad supported streaming services to come to Roku and more. And it advertises as one of the largest catalogs of free movies and television shows. Now it will offer you to make an account. A lot of these will do that. Now it's important to remember though, you don't have to create an account, but creating an account will allow you to do things like start the aviator, go halfway through it, stop, maybe pick it up on a different device or finish it here right where you left off. Or if you don't have an account, it doesn't, it doesn't remember like where, what you were watching from one device to the next. So keep that in mind. But a huge collection of movies and television shows from pretty much every option out there and a lot of really interesting categories, including one called Not on Netflix. And this is a collection of movies and television shows you can't get on Netflix, like Kill Bill 1 and 2. You know, uh, they apparently just added additional episodes of Hell's Kitchen and more. And there's a lot of content from a lot of partners. Hoarders is now on Tubi and more. So check this out. A little bit of everything for everyone is here. They do have a new kids section too. Um, so if you only want to have kids content, you can do that by going up here and selecting kids. And right here is a little bit of everything. So if you're going to watch a movie or a television show with your children, and you don't necessarily want them to see you browse through all the other content. You can go here and find content like um, all dogs go to heaven and more. So including the Transformers, Sonic X, and a little bit of everything for everybody with Tubi. So check it out. Again, If when you first launch it, it will ask you to sign in or create an account. If you look, it says or continue or something like that. Browse now. You don't have to create an account if you select the browse now. I didn't have an account there when I used it. All right, next up is Zumo TV. This is another service that offers both live channels and on-demand um, movies and television shows. And kind of like all these, it has a little bit of something for everybody. Um, now, some of the content you may see, like the Roku channel, Pluto um, TV, and Zumo may all have some of the same channels, but there are a ton of channels in here that the others don't have. It goes back to, hey, doesn't cost you anything to have this, why not have multiple um, free channels here? And you can get things like Combat Go here, the Sports Illustrated channel, the new ACC On Demand network, which is content not in the ACC network, but it's available here, um, and more. Stadium, another sports option in there. There's even a PGA Tour channel, which includes a ton of PGA content for any of the golf fans out there. Um, for instance, here is every shot that Tiger Woods had in the 82nd PGA Tour win. So you can watch that there. It looks like they're doing some highlights of past things right now. And then a ton of kids content and more. Uh, so Zumo TV, available on your Roku TV, Roku player, and more. 1% free movies and television shows, not always available in other places. Crackle used to be owned by Sony. Recently, they sold it to Chicken Soup for the Soul Media. And it still is partnered with Sony. They do have a lot of Sony content but with the new owners, kind of opens them up from just being a Sony service. Again, they do offer, um, if you create a channel, you can get there, or, or create an account, you can save your progress and do more, but you don't need to. Now, it does have a ton of movies like the 12 Days of Aliens, so tons of alien movies here, action content, uh, Fury, um, and more. So these are pretty well-known movies and television shows. You know, sometimes when I think people think about free um, services like this, they think that this is going to be all B-rated movies and television shows you don't know, right? A lot of these are ones people know, and they have fun categories like the Not So Happy Holiday Channel, which is a ton of holiday movies 
that may be more of a comedy or hey, we don't really, uh, maybe not so happy with it. So check it out. It even has some holiday classic TV episodes like a TJ Hooker episode, um, Unsolved Mysteries episode related to the holidays and more. Um, so check it out. Tons of stuff on Crackle that gives you a huge collection of movies and television shows. Now Hoopla is a interesting one because all the ones I've been showing you are, hey, here is a ton of movies and television shows you can watch with ads. Hoopla gives you all this ad free, but you, your library has to be a partner with it. So Hoopla partners with local libraries. Um, Canopy is another one that does this. I'm gonna show Hoopla in this. Canopy is another great option to include to this list. But your number of credits and how many movies or television shows you can borrow each month varies depending on your library. But it does have a ton of content in here. Um, uh, so I'm gonna scroll through here real quick to give you an idea. But all these are available 100% free, ad free. Now your lab will vary slightly depending on what um, what local library you have, and it doesn't stop at movies and television shows. Ebooks, audiobooks, and more can be rented through here. There's also music available. So think of this as your public library without needing to go actually to the public library. Now again though, your local library needs to partner with it. I find most local libraries now partner either with Hoopla or Canopy being the two biggest. There are some others out there, but there's a lot of content, including Nickelodeon content. You can watch SpongeBob on here commercial free um, with this, but you are limited. This is not an all you can eat type situation. You do have to kind of say, hey, I have 10, 15 different rentals I can have this month. What 10 movies do I really want to watch for free without ads? So check that out. I really enjoy the audiobook feature for their app that's available on mobile devices as well. Uh, YouTube. Um, now this is a great option I think a lot of people overlook. YouTube does have a lot of legitimately legal movies and television shows available with your, on your Roku through YouTube. I'll put a link down below to talk more about the movies and television shows you can get. But YouTube, of course, has a ton of movies and or content here available for free. And now again, you can log in or you can just say, hey, I'm gonna use this logged out. And this is the logged out uh, YouTube home screen right now with um, content out there. So Warner Brother Kids, for example, um, they've brought some classic Tom and Jerry episodes to YouTube for free. Check it out. So a ton of content in here um, with it. Um, and here, for example, History Channel has brought a lot of History Channel content to YouTube for free legally. So this is just um, all the content available here when I click on the logged out version. You can see Saturday Night Live and more all right here. So check it out, YouTube, again, it's not just cat videos, it's just not just amateurs making videos. Increasingly, we are seeing major movie studios take advantage of YouTube to put content on there to attract people. Uh, Stargate Command uh, would often put free episodes randomly up each week of Stargate SG-1, Atlantis, and more, so you could watch it with the hope that you would then turn on and buy more movies and television shows. So it's really great to see it. One of the other newer ones out there, there's a ton, but I wanted to kind of show on the Fansom.tv is a lesser known service, kind of new, or at least new to my knowledge on Roku, but has a ton of movies and television shows here. And especially if you love some lesser known movies, they have a lot of international content on here, which I really love um, out there, um, and more. And a lot of big name movies. You can even go browse by actor. So let's go check out Morgan Freeman and see what he has. So he's got a couple movies on here um, and more. And let's see here. Um, here, three movies here, um, there. Let's see here, one more option. Samuel L. Jackson, what do we have? Three movies here from Samuel L. Jackson. So I really love uh, Fansom. I've been really enjoying trying out Fansom.tv. A lot of categories, but I kind of love the like, hey, I can see all the movies available by actor and different categories, plus some international content and more. So check that out. And lastly, news on. Now, this isn't really about movies or television show, but this does answer the requests I get very often. How do I watch my local news for free? 
Now, many of your local news stations will offer a dedicated uh, Roku channel with free access to their news and content. News On has a huge collection of channels though, where you can watch it 100% for free. It will try to identify where you are based on your IP address, and you can go in here and say, okay, here's my local stations, Austin, Temple area. But I can then go and also look up here, I can go to the home screen, which is this, I can go all stations so I can browse by state or city and see, okay, I wanna to go to Michigan and see what channels are available in Michigan. But right now there's a major weather event happening. So this is a rotating category up here where they will say, hey, there's a hurricane hitting, there's some type of major news event or a winter storm. We're going to um, compile all the stations that are covering that event into one screen. Really enjoyed this during hurricane season when hurricanes were threatening Florida. I could go, okay, which local Florida stations are live with what's happening right now? Here, you got the New England area with a big um, winter weather storm. You can see um, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, New York, and more all included. So News On is a great option, not just for your local news, but for news from around the country. All right, there you go. There are my 10 100% free Roku channels for movies and television shows. Again, my list, you leave me a comment. Let me know what you think I should have added. Plus there's so many other ones that have free content but it also has paid content like Vudu, Amazon, and more. But again, a quick recap, the Roku channel, Stir, Pluto TV, Tubi, Zumo TV, Crackle, Hoopla, also representing other services like Canopy, which work with your local library. YouTube, not just cat videos anymore, a lot of legitimate legal content there. Free some, um, TV, news on. I will put a link to each one of these down in the show notes down below, so check that out if you wanna go download one of these to your Roku or learn more about them. But again, if you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. We post new videos every Monday through Saturday, all about the world of cord cutting, helping you break free from the high cost cable TV. Just to watch the shows you enjoy. Well, I hope this helped you. If it did, hit that thumbs up. I'll be back tomorrow with more cord cutting news, tips, tricks, and reviews. I hope everyone has a great day.